Hello again folks and welcome to match day two uh, of the uh, Airgun Battle Leagues. Uh, same test as what went on the other day as we know the Remington won game one. Uh, beat the uh, Adsan Airtech in the final round. Today this may be a little bit more easier I think. Uh, both guns I've took a bit of time with cleaned and tuned but I think this should go uh, really with the Webley Exocet, set but uh, it's the Webley Exocet set today by the way against the uh, SMK B2 Deluxe now the Exocet's set's an old gun but it's a good one and the B2 bargain end of the scale so you would say that the Exocet set stands a chance today if you was a betting man that's where you put your money but we never know how today's going to go so it's away we go and let's see who can win today Round 1 Five minutes into the target. The uh, SMK deal is going first. Let's see how we go. One wasn't too far away, so fair play to the deluxe there. Shot two will be way with that one. Not to worry. Three more shots to bring you back. That's a shot there by the SMK. This just seems to be shooting a lot better since it's had a barrel clean and uh, a little bit of maintenance done to it. And number five on the final shot. That's the SMK's room there. Let's change the target and let's bring in the Exocet. Right, let's bring the Exocet into play with its first five shots. Start for the exercise. May need a slight adjustment for the third shot I'm thinking. Looks like the recent clearing that we've done is not really set out to line so uh, you'll just have to bear with me with this third shot. Let's try that slight adjustment. No, looks still in the same place. And the fifth shot. This won't be a, a fair example, but uh, it looks like the extra set's in trouble there. Yeah, same on again. So. Bit of adjustment needed, I think, but that's the exercise five shots. Well, that's the result of our uh, of our first test. There, if you take now and out of the two in the bullseye in the bottom one, which is obviously for the uh, 
for the extra set there. Um, first round, I think to be fair. Hmm, who would we say there? I, you know what? To give the SMK a chance, I'm going to give that first round to the SMK. Uh, the sevens, eights, nines by both, uh, but the two closest shots that would have been was the SMK. So I'm going to give that to the SMK. I understand that with the cleaning that's just gone on with the uh, extra set, it's a bit out of line. But you can see the two shots I've just put in the centre there. That was a retune later, and I seem to have got it now. So the extra set should bring it back. Room two for the B2 is the shooting gallery. Four shots to lift them up, one to reset. Let's see how we can go. I have tried to repair this, we know we've been having trouble with it, but uh, hopefully we've got it now. Maybe three and a knockdown, it may be enough to save itself, but uh, no. Two and a knockdown could it be then for the SMK? Yeah, two and a knockdown for the SMK. I'll put that over there. And we'll go straight into the extra set. Let's see that he can be two and a knockdown. Hopefully now he's had a little bit of tuning. He should be better. Hit it but didn't stand up. Again, hit, didn't stand up. So the most he can do now is draw. Stands a chance of drawing. If he does, we'll have to reshoot this again. Yes, it's a draw. So round two, one nil up to the uh, to the B two there, and the second round's a draw. We move on to obstacle number three, which again is the duck gallery. So let's see how we get set up for that one. Number three, the shooting gallery, another one that we've been having trouble with, but I've uh, I think I may have mended it now. I'm not hundred percent. We'll see. Starting from the big one on the right. Shot there from the B2. A small one now. Keep it in lift. The next small one. Oh, that's got to come back the other one down. It's such a shame. It's been on point with this so far. The B2 has. Hit it but didn't go. So it'll be one of the reset really for this gun. If he hits it. Oh, just one scored for the B2, no reset. Hard oh, look there. I'll use the 
Back to setting up the reset done, and then we'll start with the the, uh, the exit set. There we go. Hit number one, but didn't go up. Hit the second one but didn't go up. It needs these two to win this round now. No. Could lose this now if he doesn't get this one up and a reset. Noise weird was the pellet falling out. So we'll try that again. No, none up whatsoever for the extra set. Can't even hit the reset. It's hit the reset and got too well, can you believe it? Oh well. Another shot to send the reset down. Still one up. Uh, I think in all fairness we have to give that to the SMK again. This has been a bit of a shock result. Uh, the exit set has got two rounds now to bring it back round. Let's see what it can do. Round four, the shot against shot challenge in the target. There's seven targets. Whoever wins the four of them, wins the game. B2 to go first, out at the minute, in a 2-0 lead. Good shot there by the B2, that'll take some beating. In target number one. Exit set, you need to put your socks up. I think that's gone through exactly the same hole. I'll check it on the video later. Ah. I'm going to have to shoot with the, the exit set first. I've cracked it by accident, so. Just off the edge of the target there. The exit set is really struggling today for some reason. I want to do some work on it later. I'm not sure, I think that's the B2s again. Carry on with the B2 because it's that one that should be going first into target three. It's been a terrible day for the Exocet. And that's just on the ring of the target. So is that, I think the B2's won that again. I can't believe how much the Exocet set is struggling today. Could be knocked out here in this round.
again I think that's going to be the uh, I think that's going to be the deluxe that's got it, I really do. Right, there's three left. Can this save itself or not? Hmm. Don't think it did too well with the main balls I target there. Let's have a see whether the extra second redeem itself just a touch at least. Don't even know where that went. We'll have to check later on on the screen. Now the fox is eyeballing. I think that's off the target, I'm not sure. I think the exit set may just about have won that one. Shooting a little bit low again. It seems all over the place today for some reason. <laughs> to be fair, I may have to shoot this again at a later date on the I begin to think it's a little bit unfair for the exit set to be struggling like this, but uh, rules of the game are is how it is so last target just off there by the B2 so if the X can get this it is in with a chance because there is a couple of close ones that stay in the game you know it's to see it if you can stay in the game Well, he's won that one, that's for definite, but, uh, well, let's go and have a see. Running back the video on the last one there, and we did have to take it and run the video back properly. Uh, there was two draws, two wins for the B2, and three wins for the Exocet set right at the end. So, the Exocet set is still in it. Uh, round five, three pellets into the red dot, see how many you can score. I'm losing a bit of light here and I can't see the target now. Uh, obviously I can still see through the skull but uh, not with a plain eye. So I don't know how that went for the B2 there. We will have to check when we uh, reel it in. Again, I'm not 100% sure with that one. I'm not 100% sure with that one. But that was the B2's round. I'll go reel it in, set the next one up, and we'll go take a look. Well, this could be a close run thing. Um, after getting the target back in for the B2, it scored zero. So if the X can get one, it's two, two and a draw. We may have a shoot off. And I do believe that's the one. 
I'm not going to continue with this because obviously now that scored one, it wins this round. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another red target on and we're going to have, being as it's come to a draw, we're going to have a penalty shootout, the first one to hit the red. Um, I'm going to have a retune on the B2, so it's got a fair chance before I put the sticker in, but that's the way we're going to play it off. It's like a penalty shootout, first one to hit goes through and wins. Been a very close one this, which I didn't expect at all. I thought the set would win this quite easily. It's been close. Okay, round it's the final, and uh, it's sudden death. First gun to shoot the B2. If he can get it in, it stays in. If not, the set has a chance of winning. Here goes. Both gonna have had a retune just before the start of this, so both have got just as much a chance. I think that's in the target. So the B2 stays in. Well done the B2. Pressure now is on the extra set to actually get it into the target. Yeah, I think that's just above the B2 shot, so the extra set stays in. Second shots. I'm not hundred percent sure with that one. I think it is in, but I can't be certain. Light is dropping now, this has gone on longer than what we thought due to like a few retuning issues and whatnot in this, but uh, right. Exit set, what can you do? Yep, I think that one's in as well. So we keep going. Well, what a round. Just waiting for one of the guns to slip up now and do a wayward shot, really. Again, I'm not 100%, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stop there at the moment. I think that's three each inside the bullseye, but I need to run it back and check on the video replay because I'm not 100% sure. So I'll just bear with me a moment. Right, after running it back, well, it was so evenly matched. What I've had to do is I've had to leave the three targets back in now, and we're going to have to do a best of three on the three targets. It's uh, it's getting dark. It's hard to see. So, best of luck to the three just before this light drops. Target one. I don't know what happened there. I will have to replay the film back as I say. It's a bit too far now for me to see, so... Vexa set shot into target number one, top left corner. Target number two. I couldn't see a hole there when I put the bigger scope on that's on the Exa set there. I couldn't see a hole in it for uh, the B2, so I don't know if the B2 missed the first one. The second one, anyway. Again, don't ask me, I can't see. Second target for the exit set, which is the top right one. I'm 
And finally the last one, right on the bottom for the B2 and then I'll get a I'll get the camera in and we'll see exactly who's won hopefully. Hopefully this decided if it's close again I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to call it a draw. Again, I'm 100% sure with that. Again, not sure with that. I'm going to go and reel it in and uh, go and see how we've got it, and then I can uh, give you the results. Well, what a game that was in the Battle League. After I've took the video in and had a close look at it, you will see it obviously first hand for yourself uh, when I uh, do the editing, but um, I didn't get a chance to have a good look at it. It would seem that uh, the B2 missed target one and missed target three. And target three it seemed to miss by a long way, it seemed to take the, the middle of the target straight out. Uh, that would mean that the exit hitting all three and very close to all three being in the middle as one by two to one. Um, I could have given the extra set the third one too, but um, I'm going to give the the third the second uh, target there, the one on the top right. I was going to give that one a draw, so I think the extra set wins there by two clear and a half really. So after having a decider, which is the first time it's ever come to that in the Battle Leagues, it would seem that the exit has just got through by the skin of its teeth. Now who would have ever thought that? That just goes to show a bad day for one of the guns in this Battle League and you can lose your points, it's as easy as that. Uh, whatever was wrong with the exit set, the only thing that I've changed on the gun since we've been shooting it last time is um, I give it a barrel clean and since I've given it a barrel clean it seems to have gone a little bit wayward. Uh, Throughout the day I've tried to tune it back in and we've had a tune of both guns before we went into that final shoot out so just to give them both a fair chance. Uh, the B2 I thought today has done brilliant to be fair for uh, exactly what it is. I mean I think you can still get the B2 nowadays for around £60 uh, whereas the Exocet probably when it came out was around the 150 mark I'm guessing which was quite a lot of money then. Maybe a bit less. I'm just taking a guess. But uh, yeah, the X set struggled in the first couple of disciplines there. Um, mainly, I think, because it was out of sync, it wasn't tuned in properly. But um, it is what it is on the day. You can't take the results back, you can't change anything. And obviously, like, you know, I've tried to give both guns a chance towards the end there when they were both going a touch wayward uh, for the target test. And as you can see, the B2 did really well. Uh, I mean, that final, final test there. Where the both of them put three in the, that little small, I think it's a 30 mil target, you know, maybe 13 to 15 meters from where I am here. That's good going, really, you know, for any gun, to be fair, putting three in there. So that's good grouping for either gun. Uh, we've had guns here shooting the same target where you've been all over the place and we've been nowhere near those, that centre target at all. So that's, that's good shooting by both guns. Good result, I think, for the day. Um, very close one, didn't expect it to be that close at all. But uh, match two of the Battle Leagues, Exocet against the B2, Exocet wins by, well, it wins actually by the uh, a deciding factor where it's had to, uh, had to win like a, a knockout stage at the end. But either way, it's a win. So well done to the Exocet. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for number three.